Good afternoon and evening, everybody. Welcome to a special edition of uh, my channel, Baseball Cards in Space. Today, my son's going to be teaching us just the very first chapter of everything he actually wants to uh, show you going forward. We're going to do a series of these episodes, and uh, Everett, you ready Hello. to take it away? All right. Hello, so today we're going to be talking about our our home star, the sun, and the first planet to, like, the closest one to our sun. And which one's that? Mercury. Mercury. Named after the, named after a Roman god, it got, it's got its name Mercury because that Roman god actually had, like, wings, which made it go really fast, and since Mercury goes really fast around the sun, it got, it got the name Mercury. Yeah, that makes total sense to me. I like that. So why does it have so many holes on the surface? Those are those are called craters. And since since Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere to actually like block those a asteroids from hitting Mercury, it just they just go in and hit it. So that's why it has a lot of holes. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. I love the details there. You can see some of them right there. Mm-hmm. Let's see, how big is the sun, since we're talking about Mercury being close to the sun? Well, the sun is really huge. It's so huge that you could fit w around 1,000 Jupiters inside there. 1,000 Jupiters? Yes, and Jupiter, you could fit around 1,300 Earths inside there. Oh my goodness gracious. And I'm too lazy to do the math. <laughs> I don't blame you, I don't blame you. Um, Let's see, uh, we already talked about the Jupiters. Why no moons for Mercury? Well, I know that's we don't have any here. Oh, but that's because Mercury is too close to the sun, so the sun's gravity will just literally just suck it in. Oh, wow. Well, hey, speaking of that, uh, how do planets orbit the sun? I'm glad you asked that. That's because of gravity and inertia. <sighs> So, Explain. gravity is its basically how all, you and me are standing on Earth right now. It's the force that's pulling us all down to the planet's core. And the sun also pulls the planets to its core. Oh, okay. But the planets, but inertia, it's like when you throw something. Okay. It, it keeps on moving until a force acts upon it. Usually that being gravity. So, since the Mercury is going near and the sun's gravity is making it pull, pull, pull down to it, it just goes around. So it creates that inertia. Wow. Yep. I'm telling you. Well, I, I've always been curious. Why does the sun glow the way it does? Oh, that's because of nuclear fusion. Some atoms like hydrogen and helium combined together and created, like... Stuff like just making it glow and providing light to all the planets. Cool. Hey, uh, so what are some of those details uh, you're showing on the sun here in your model? Oh, those are solar flares. Oh, wow, really? Solar flares, it's when the sun's surface is more active, firing out shoots of fire all up, all up out of it. And sometimes... It could even reach the planets. Oh, wow. My goodness. Causing it to be a little bit more a little warm. Well, hey, Everett, uh, any other uh, fun facts for today? Okay, so speaking of heat, Mercury is not actually the hottest planet, believe it or not, because it is the closest planet. Really? Which one is the hottest? Venus. Venus. That's because of its thick... Oh, oh I, shouldn't, I shouldn't be saying that, but... We, I should be leaving that for the next episode. Oh, okay. So this will be a teaser, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Not necessarily a spoiler, folks, but, but a great it, teaser. But it's but the side that's facing away from the sun is really cold. It's in the negatives of degrees. Oh, wow. That's because no atmosphere to protect it from the sun's radiation and heat. Gotcha. So we're pretty lucky to have our atmosphere, one would say, huh? Yep. Right. We have a decently thick atmosphere. Oh, I, I, why am I why am I saying this? 
keep I keep getting spoilers for future episodes. That's great though. We we, we got to leave them uh, uh, some crumbs to follow, son. Uh, I think this was a great episode. Episode number one. We'll see whatever comes up with on the next one. It'll be exciting. Hey, ever tell them thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks, crazy. thanks for actually tuning in for the video. Uh, I'm ho I hope you all have a good day. Right, buddy. Peace. And also, the dog's eating me right now. Yes, we love the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. <laughs>